Hello everyone, Andrew here, and welcome to today's Game & Watch review, Donkey Kong Jr. We looked at Donkey Kong a couple of days ago, although this one is a new widescreen model, unlike the previous Donkey Kong game, which was a multi-screen one. There actually is also a Donkey Kong 2 Game & Watch, which we'll be looking at a little bit later, but this one came out in between both of those, with a release date of October 26th, 1982, so a couple of months after the original. And before we get right into the game, I do want to look at the box for a second, because I love the old Mario art here, of course, still being a few years before, you know, he would be Super Mario and be the hero that we all know today. In this game, he's actually the villain who's gotten his revenge on Donkey Kong, caged him up, and Donkey Kong Jr. has to save him. I also love, wow, $22.99 at some point somebody paid for this. That wasn't the price I paid, but you know, it's crazy to think that at one point it would have been worth that. Uh, someone also seems to have taken a bit of a bite out of the box. They were hungry, and uh, not just the box, but also the kind of styrofoam portion as well. So the Donkey Kong Jr. Game & Watch itself is much like the other new widescreen ones we've looked at to this point, again with your battery cover, the little hook that comes out to stand on tables, serial number and such. It's a very interesting green and cream color. So I believe that the kind of yellow tint that the border around it has is intentional. It's not like it yellowed in the sun or something like that. Other ones I've seen have that yellow as well, although I think it was intentional from the beginning. But here we go. Let us give this a shot. I believe that Donkey Kong Jr. was featured in Game & Watch Gallery 3 and 4. So playing as Donkey Kong Jr., you need to save Donkey Kong from Mario, and you want to avoid these snap jobs along the way. You can use fruit to drop on enemies to get additional points and, of course, defeat them and you also want to jump for that swinging key so it's interesting how just like in the original Donkey Kong we had the swing uh, rather jump for that swinging crane we once again have a swinging element that I am just absolutely awful at uh, timing you can also drop the fruit on the bird there and there you go we grabbed it and we unlocked a quarter of the cage which is now flashing so of course the point is to do that three more times unlock the other quarters and save Donkey Kong so it's kind of tricky there because you want to stay in this spot to avoid the snap jaws but then sometimes uh, birds will fly at you. But there, it's got a double combo with that fruit. Jumped over that, jumped over that, and another. So uh, I was just kind of, you know, trying to get to the key. And it really did not want me to do that. You can climb uh, across these two vines here. And we can get down there. It's already picking up speed. I, I did game A. Yeah, this is like, you know, you expect it to get this difficult when you start game B or something like that. And wow, just like, no time to dodge at all. Let's try game B, if that's how tough game A was. Of course, part of it's me too, you know, uh, missing that uh, that swinging key. Well, okay, yeah, they're really sending the snap jaws in this mode. And I missed, I tried to rush it. Yeah, I, I've always found that the key is really tough to time, but I'm sure there's just a learning curve that if you're not playing it on a consistent basis, it's kind of easy to lose. I should probably stop dropping the fruit to try and get points and just focus on the key. And see, like, I was so close. How did that not count as grabbing the key? And unfortunately, you know, like, every miss, it's not just like it sends you back to the bottom. Uh, that is, you know, actually like a life lost. Wow, all right. Let's try mode A one more time. This is the redemption arc going on right here. So let's do this properly. Oh, he's grabbing onto the vine there. That's so strange. Of course, grabbing onto the vines is typically good. I don't think anything can ever get you if you stay on this one. Grabbing onto the vines at the bottom, sometimes a bird flies by and you won't be safe even if you're grabbing onto the vine. But that upper vine, I think you're okay. Yeah, so yeah, the um, clap traps don't even disappear. They're like when it forces you back down to the bottom. Maybe if they're like really close to the beginning, but not if they're in kind of the middle there. Okay, we got it this time. This time we're going to save DK and see this is kind of a... I just kind of need to wait here and jump at the right time, but the clap traps like to come. And it's a really kind of bizarre moment where you have to make sure that you press left and the jump button at the same time. Is just pressing left will actually send you off the edge, and just pressing jump will, of course, just kind of send you straight up. So, yeah, it's kind of awkward to time all around. And I can swear I pressed left there. And there, just a little bit too early because I was trying to rush it because I didn't want to get hit by the clap trap. But no, you can't rush things in this game. We go one more time. Just gotta do it one more time. Nah. 
Yes, and there you go. We have rescued Donkey Kong. So yeah, I mean, it's obviously, you know, the game's not over. That's it, everyone. We beat the game. Uh, you know, let's get some kind of bonus points for that, and you do it again. So one kind of interesting thing to note about the new widescreen Game & Watches is that uh, at 300 points, you get an extra life, or rather one of your misses is removed. But if you can get all the way to 300 without a miss, you enter what is called chance time. See, that was kind of weird. How was I supposed to do that? The bird was coming and everything. And in chance time, the score will start to flash and every point that you get will be worth double. Uh, and that will continue until you get a miss. So that's kind of an interesting thing to note. Obviously we didn't see it here, uh, but in my Mario Cement Factory Game & Watch review that I did a little while ago, I do actually reach 300 without a uh, a miss. So I think you can check out that review and see that if you wish. But that is Donkey Kong Jr. A pretty interesting, I guess, sequel-ish to Donkey Kong. It's kind of like in between Donkey Kong 1 and 2. So like Donkey Kong 1.5, I suppose. Again, lots more Donkey Kong to come is, as we review uh, Game & Watches. There were lots of Donkey Kong themed ones and I hope you enjoyed that. Hope you're looking forward to tomorrow for another review. So thanks and see you later.